Renault has a history of innovation that stretches right back to the dawn of the automobile. In fact, Western Australia is home to one of the world's oldest Renaults, this 1900 Type A. Today though, we're looking at one of the newest Renaults, the Colios, and you might be surprised to know it's not all French. To survive in the 21st century, many car makers have formed alliances with each other, and Renault is no different, having formed the Renault-Nissan alliance in 1999. So, under the Colios's French-styled skin is the underpinnings of a Nissan X-Trail. Also, it's built in South Korea through Renault's subsidiary Renault-Samsung Motors. The key benefit of doing this is it gives Renault the opportunity to market a competitive mid-size SUV, which is what most manufacturers have to do these days simply to survive. To get a Colios in your driveway, you'll need at least $29,990, which buys the entry-level life variant with two-wheel drive. The mid-spec Zen model then starts at $33,990, bringing with it extras like front parking sensors, an electrically adjustable driver's seat, and the option of four-wheel drive. Topping the range is the Intense, which at $43,490, as four-wheel drive is standard and is also the only model in the Colios range where you get autonomous braking as standard. It's an option in the mid-spec Zen and not available on the base life model. The Colios isn't the only SUV to limit auto braking to the top spec model, but on the Mazda CX-5 auto braking is standard across the range, making it a market leader in that respect. The Nissan sourced engine is the X-Trail's 2.5 litre four-cylinder petrol with 125 kilowatts and 226 newton meters. Attached to it is a CVT transmission, and although this is one of the better examples of the breed, it would still be our second preference after a well-executed dual-clutch transmission. At the time we tested the Colios, a diesel engine wasn't available, but that may change down the track. Two-wheel drive versions of the petrol Colios use 8.1 liters per 100 in the ADR test while the four-wheel drive renditions use 8.3 litres per 100 kilometres. However, in mostly around town driving, we found it to be a bit thirstier at 9.3 litres per 100 kilometres. Under light to moderate loads, so that's most of the time, the Colios is refined and smooth. And even when it is under load, it's still surprisingly quiet. Interior fit and finish is nudging luxury levels, yet compared to the X-Trail, the Colios actually represents better value both in the cheaper drive-away price and the slightly longer list of standard equipment. There are still a few French idiosyncrasies, such as the cruise control, which has its on-off button on the center console, but the speed adjustment buttons on the wheel. The infotainment system too is slow and fiddly, frustratingly so when driving. Other slightly odd features include the five selectable ambient lighting colors to reflect your mood or even change it. And then there's this key fob which doesn't even have a loop for attaching other keys. And also, Android Auto and Apple CarPlay aren't available on any Colios. But on the road, the Colios does a very good job of doing what it was designed for, moving families and their gear between school, sport and the shops, with plenty of room inside without being a behemoth on the outside. The five-year warranty also betters those of many rivals. As well as being cheaper than the equivalent X-Trail and having more gear, the Colios's added intangible extra is its European badge. Add to that its cool body styling and Japanese mechanicals, and you have an SUV that's worthy of serious consideration against its mainstream competitors. RAC. For the better.